It's reading time. The Boy Who Cried Wolf and Other Stories The Boy Who Cried Wolf Once there was a shepherd boy who had to look after a flock of sheep. One day, he felt bored and decided to play a trick on the villagers. He shouted, Help! Help! Wolf! Wolf! The villagers heard his cries and rushed out of the village to help the shepherd boy. When they reached him, they asked, Where Where is the wolf? The shepherd boy laughed loudly. Ha ha ha! I fooled all of you. I was only playing a trick on you. A few days later, the shepherd boy played this trick again. Again he cried, Help! Help! Wolf! Wolf! Again, the villagers rushed up the hill to help him, and again, they found that the boy had tricked them. They were very angry with him for being so naughty. Then, sometime later, a wolf went into the field. The wolf attacked one sheep, and then another, and another. The shepherd boy ran towards the village, shouting, Help! Help! Wolf! Help somebody! The villagers heard his cries, but they laughed because they thought it was another trick. The boy ran to the nearest villager and said, A wolf is attacking the sheep. I lied before, but this time it is true. Finally, the villagers went to look. It was true. They could see the wolf running away and many dead sheep lying on the grass. The moral of this story is, we may not believe someone who often tells lies, even when he tells the truth. Now it's time for the lion and the hare story. Once upon a time, a lion had been hunting for days without catching anything to eat. It looks like I will go hungry again, he thought. Then he saw a hare fast asleep beneath a shady tree. He moved quietly towards it, thinking, At last, here is a delicious meal sitting and waiting for me. He was about to catch the hare when a fine young deer trotted by. The lion thought, Now there is an even better dinner. He turned and chased the deer. The noise woke the hare and he quickly hopped away. After a long chase, the lion failed to catch the deer. Tired out, he came back looking for the hare but found that it had run away. What a fool I am! The lion said as his empty stomach growled. It serves me right for losing the food that was almost mine, just for the chance of getting more. The moral of the story is, don't be greedy or you may lose everything in the end. And now is the fox and the cat story. One day... A cat was out walking in the forest when she met a fox. The cat greeted the fox politely. How are you getting on in these hard times? She asked. The proud fox answered. Yo, miserable mouse hunter, how dare you speak to me? What skills do you know? The cat replied. Well, at least one. When dogs come after me, I can spring up a tree and save myself. Is that all? laughed the fox. Well, I have mastered a whole bag of tricks, he boasted. I could teach you a dozen ways to get away. Just then they heard hunting dogs nearby. The cat sprang up a tree and hid herself. This is my plan, she said to the fox. What are you going to do? The fox, unable to decide, turned this way and that. He was soon cornered by the dogs and 
killed. Meanwhile, the cat looked on. So much for his bag of tricks, he thought. I'll stay with my own plan. The moral of the story is, it's better to have one safe solution than a dozen you can't count on. See you next time. Keep on reading.